All right, so let's get this morning started. I'm adjusting my new double take mirrors. So excited. These are so much nicer than what I had on here. My OEMs were actually they were shot. But even still, even if they weren't, these are definitely a nicer. You can see better through these or out of these. Cloudy day out. I was reading on my weather app that um, there was a hurricane that was downgraded to a tropical storm. So probably we'll see some rain today. Wondering maybe, but not this morning. So it's a nice commute to work this morning. So nice to look in my mirrors and be able to see behind me. That's awesome. <laughs> it's really nice. It's probably about um, 72.5 out according to my dash thermometer. Perfect. Tuesday morning, day after Labor Day. So I guess after Labor Day, that means summer's on its way out. But um, actually, I could feel the weather change at least a couple weeks ago. So, And it's getting darker earlier, too. So fall is just around the corner. Still need to do some fine-tuning adjustments on these mirrors. But yeah, it's all right. It'll get me to work just fine. Oh, looks like I missed my green light. Nope. Thought maybe I could maybe make it before the traffic started coming, but nope. I can do maybe this lane here. Seventy-one point six on the dash. It is humid out for sure. Of course, that's nothing new here. I actually took the time to straighten my hair today. So we'll see how it works out with the humidity. <laughs> and somebody turning left up there. So I have almost everything packed and ready to go. And Thomas flies in tonight, so pick him up from the airport and He's going to take my van and my cargo trailer back to Arizona. I just have a few more things I need to make sure get put in the van before he leaves tomorrow morning bright and early. And I have three work days left. T minus three. I'm definitely looking forward to some coffee. I also have the shield up because it feels really good. So I'm kind of wondering how that's going to sound on the video. That'll be a good experiment. Somebody's turning left up there, so I'm going to come this way. Oh, and I have my um, panniers on, so put those on last night. Bike is pretty much packed except for my little dog Alice and. Um, my duffel bag. Come on. You're welcome. Oh, well, that didn't do any good. Walls of Books, the Midlands. It looks kind of interesting. Oh, there it is. Awesome. It's my left turn up here. Walls of Books. That reminds me, I actually ordered a book written in 1972. It's entitled 666. 
And I remember my mom saying, she read that when it first came out, and she saying, everything's coming true. And I never really put much stock in any of that. Um, but, you know, you can't argue. I, at least I can't argue with, with what I'm perceiving and what I'm seeing, you know, the increased storms and the, you know, the pandemic and, I don't know, this national coin shortage, apparently. So it looks like they're trying to encourage a cashless society, but that's just my conspiracy theory. You know, who knows? Maybe it's legit. Um, but I do know that there, you know, some stores aren't taking cash because they feel or fear it's, you know, COVID, at risk for COVID. So they prefer plastic because it's more non-contact. And some places are just doing non-contact, period. So, yeah, anyway. And I've, I've read about it a little bit online. I mean, aside from being poorly written, I think, um, I, I mean, I know I saw a lot of comments that mentioned that it was sometimes in first person and then sometimes in third person, but, but I'm very curious about it. If nothing else, it'll be an interesting read. I actually sent it to my niece by mistake. I worked from Amazon and so, you know, I have all these addresses saved on Amazon and I clicked my niece's address by with her and I told her, hey, um, you know, I sent this book to you by mistake and she was curious about it. And I'm like, yeah, and this is what it is. And um, you're welcome to read it, you know, when it comes to you. And <laughs> she read the reviews and she read about it online also. <laughs> she texted back, she's like, no, thank you. I think I would like to sleep at night. <laughs> so anyway. Kind of looking forward to it. I don't know if my mom still had her coffee or not, but um, when I ordered mine, it was paperback and it wasn't available on Kindle, which is no surprise. I mean, it was written in 1972, and you know, there's, there aren't any new. I don't think there are any new um, editions out. So, and according to Amazon, there were only two left when it was in my cart. So, yeah. At the very least, it's. It's, it's a semi-rare book at this point, I guess, and, you know, I love collecting books. At least I used to. I used to love collecting books until I started traveling full-time in my van, and then there was just, there was no way. I think I still might have some of my really old books, like, you know, from the late 1800s, somewhere in storage, but I actually gave up all my paper books. I still mourn them, believe it or not, but... I mean, there's just no way. I used to move all the time, and strangely, I had this dream of, you know, being like my parents. You know, they were my example, so I thought that's what life was going to be like, and um, you know, living in one place for my entire life. And I had this dream of building this huge library, so I was really well on my way with uh, my paper book library, but <clears throat> finally, my... My, my move from Washington down to California was when I finally got rid of all of those because I was just, they were just too much to, to handle. And I really had to pare down a lot on that move because I had accumulated so much stuff, including a whole attic full of, full of stuff. And <clears throat> my goal at that point was to kind of start simplifying a little bit. So I got um, two U-Haul. Well, I think they call them U-Haul U-Boxes or something like that. They're like those little pods. And so I sat them. And they're not very big. I don't know. Maybe five by eight at, at the very biggest. And so I said, well, whatever I can't fit in these two pods, I've got to get rid of. And so that's what I did. And the books didn't make it. Well, okay. A lot of books did make it, but most of them didn't. Um, I still have a lot of books in storage, I guess. So technically haven't completely parted with them. Um, still sad to see all those go, but I do have them all replaced on my Kindle, so they're all now in digital format. So they're everywhere with me. All right, well, it's time to get started. And thanks for coming along with me on my morning commute. And um, y'all have a great Tuesday. Have a great day.